I'm walking on a runway show for the very first time this weekend. I've never taken a dance class before. In about 30 minutes, I'm about to leave for the airport. This was my first time going to a Beyonce concert. I'll probably make mistakes. I may not look all that graceful. I'm walking on a runway show for the very first time this weekend. It's for the Slow Fashion Festival and I'm getting ready to go to rehearsals. Since I've never walked in a runway before, it's kind of nerve-wracking because I'll have all these people watching me. And honestly, the worst case scenario is that I fall. But I'm actually not that nervous about that. I'm more nervous that my runway walk won't be... that it won't be good. I just remember watching America's Next Top Model growing up and then seeing the models do like the runway portion of the show and the judges be like her walk on the runway was not good i have watched quite a few videos on how to walk on a runway i practice a little bit throughout the month and i'm gonna watch some more videos as i'm getting ready and then practice before i leave for rehearsals i'm pretty sure i'll be trying on the dress i'll be wearing so i can get comfortable with that i'm gonna bring the shoes with me that i plan on walking with in the show and i'll also just ask for feedback um during rehearsal like hey this is my first runway show how was my walk what do you think of it um any tips to improve it i guess you know if i find a nice safe soul there i mean at the end of the day i'll be there to support an amazing designer and kind of bring their work in peace to life and i think i just have to remind myself of that anytime I start to feel nervous about this. Uh, but I am really excited because walking on a runway has been something that's been my goal for a while. I'm glad to finally have an opportunity to do so. I really haven't focused on runway during the last couple of years that I've been modeling, just mainly commercial. And that's because like for runway, you need to be pretty tall in general to do runway. I'm 5'7", um, for like high fashion, runway modeling they look for people that are like 5'9, 5'10, 5'11, 6 foot. I know I'll be having my hair up for the show so I didn't know if I wanted to put it up today. I think I might just because like my curls are they're not quite doing what I need them to do today. Okay I'm gonna need to put this like the long way because you really won't be able to see all right, I'm gonna rehearse my walk for a little bit before I have to go. I'm wearing the shoes that I'm gonna wear on the runway. I got some booties on because I don't wear shoes in my house. Check your posture and make sure you don't slouch. When you get to the end of the runway, square up and make sure you're following along and learn. All right, let's do it. Let's pretend like I'm walking from over here. I get really confused. Like, okay, you're like, yeah, yeah, take a step back. So I think it's the pause that I'm getting confused on, where it's like, mm, take a step back over your shoulder. Ooh, that was good. when I'm walking because you know how you like see those like 90s models on the runway and they're just like bam 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 like all hips so I think I'm just gonna ask the designer um, does she want me walking with more or less hip movement and is she looking for me to have like a more bubbly expression on my face or is she looking for me to be like super like serious and moody so I was just I just figured out that like if I walk and then I know that I want to lean on this foot, this is where I have the wider stance. I lean and then I would start walking like this. That was just me practicing. I don't think I've ever like practiced that long or in heels. Your shoes are pretty comfortable and they're not like super high heels. Like I'll show you. They're not super high. I think it's getting a lot better. I think it's getting a lot better. Okay. <laughs> we got a 
bike. Round two, fight. Round three, bike. Let me get it started. Yeah, round one, fight. Round two, ice. Round three, bike. Okay, I don't mean to instigate. Y'all really phoned it in with the music lately. I don't need another hit because it's juicy, really. I ain't looking good. You're hallucinating. Every time I hear him talk, I assume they're crazy. You can open up for me. Who are you, first lady? Shut it down, bitch. Don't tell him. He's made me. That's a new work saying. He's like, I'm waiting. Let me get it started. Fashion show went really well. I had a lot of fun. I met so many cool people. The brand that I walked for is Honey Fatel. The designer's name is Jeanette. It's all like handmade clothing. I'll put some of her information in the description. I was definitely feeling pretty nervous leading up to the moments that I got on the stage, but that's, but that's normal. You know, being nervous before going out in front of a crowd of people is natural. <laughs> I would absolutely do it again if given the opportunity because I had so much fun. Like damn, she her move. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad. Oh, what's happening with my hair? <laughs> I'm trying to put it up because I'm going swimming today. <laughs> it's not. Good morning! Not the sirens. So lately I've been pushing myself to do things that I've avoided throughout my life because I'm bad at them. Um, or at least that was the reason why I had written them off. Just as a way to kind of break limitations. I mean, I have been doing it for at least a few years, but the last month or two, I really kind of ramped up how often I'm kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Today is one of those days. I'm taking a dance class with one of my friends. I've never taken a dance class before, and dancing is one of the things that I've written off and avoided throughout my life because I'm not a good dancer. I don't have rhythm. I'm really challenging myself to explore. Is it that I'm a bad dancer and that I don't have rhythm? Or is it that I've never actually put time and effort into dancing? Not on my own, really. I've never taken a dance class. I've never really tried to learn choreography to anything, at least not seriously. You guys saw me doing runway for the first time last week, which was something I was kind of nervous about. It's something that I didn't actually pursue or try out for a lot because of the height. I mean, which is, you know, a real limitation of it, but I think I also allowed myself to be limited by that more than I should have. And I ended up having a great time. So I'm not really nervous for the dance class. Me kind of just finally deciding to go ahead and take a dance class reminds me of when I first started working out a couple of years ago, because like, all throughout my life up until a few years ago, I like avoided exercise. Like anything outside of like a walk, I, I just avoided. I wasn't really enrolled in any sports growing up, but then I had this thing all throughout my childhood that, you know, since I wasn't in any sports, I just kind of accepted that I was not athletic and that I was bad at all that stuff. And I just wrote it off and never did it. Like not even to try because I didn't want to make mistakes. I didn't want to feel uncomfortable. I didn't want to feel incompetent in the thing that I was doing. Eventually, you know, I got myself to kind of push through the discomfort and kind of just start on my fitness journey, um, find things that I really like to do, things that I thought I would never do because I was bad at them and just allow myself to be bad at them. I started taking fitness classes. I started going to the gym and lifting and surprise, surprise, because I stuck with it for so long. Um, I feel like I've improved a lot in terms of my overall fitness, in terms of how competent I feel and how confident I feel when I go to the gym or whenever I'm exercising in general. Um, exercising is something that feels like such a part of my day-to-day -day life now. I can't imagine just not exercising. I, I kind of expect this dance class experience to be pretty similar. I mean, dancing is a skill, so I'm, I may feel uncomfortable in that class. 
I'll probably make mistakes. I may not look all that graceful or like I have rhythm, but I think the fact that I was willing to put myself out there and especially with and in front of other people is a really big step and it's a, a good muscle to work mentally, so. We learned the dance to Popular by the weekend. Our instructor showed us how it'll all come together and then we learned it step by step and then it was time for us to perform it. We had so much fun, we could not stop laughing, and we'll definitely be taking another dance class soon. Good morning! In about 30 minutes, I'm about to leave for the airport. I have a work trip this week in San Diego. I spent last summer in San Diego for an internship with the same company that I'm currently working at, and so they're bringing everyone in for the week um, for this like conference specifically for the people in our organization. And if you were wondering, I'm a technical writer. San Diego is so beautiful. I had so much fun whenever I spent the summer there. So I'm really excited to be going back. I'll be mainly at the office from nine to five, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I do have a couple of days after work on this trip where I'll be spending it with my team and doing like team bonding things. But I'm also gonna spend as much time as I possibly can checking out all of my favorite spots in San Diego all over again. For the last month, it's been over 100 degrees here, so I'm really excited to be leaving and going into like nice like 80 degree, 75 degree weather. I woke up at 6 a.m. I meditated, I went and got breakfast from a cafe across the street, and then I got a week pass at a gym nearby, and I lifted, it was leg day, and now I'm at Torrey Pines hiking. It's so pretty, but I'm pretty wiped at this point, um, but at the same time, I feel really, really good. I don't feel like I got as much footage as the amount of time that I was there, which was five days. So four of those days I was like in the office. So I kind of just showed you guys the time that I spent away from the office and the things that I did in San Diego that I wanted to do. Uh, and then I'm really glad that I got to spend Thursday evening uh, grabbing dinner with my coworkers and then hitting the beach to see the sunset. So yeah. I'm going to the Beyonce concert in Houston. So I got a three hour drive ahead of me. Beyonce grew up in Houston and so did I. So I know she's gonna go all out and I'm really excited. Um, just to have fun tonight because I feel like I've been working a lot and I have a lot of schoolwork piling up. It's like as soon as I finish a unit for the week, it's like I blink and then I'm already in panic mode trying to finish another unit for school. Things are starting to pick up a little bit more for work and then I'm going to be busy whenever I come back this week. I also haven't uploaded a YouTube video in like a month. So I finally filmed yesterday and I really do need to make time to edit. So this was my first time going to a Beyonce concert. She killed it on stage for two and a half hours. I was tired standing there watching her for two and a half hours. What really blew me away was how many people were there. The lines just to get anywhere were crazy. We had to walk two miles away from the venue and we still couldn't get an Uber, but we were able to order a taxi and made it back to the Airbnb at three in the morning. I had a great time. I've never been to a concert so big.